Hello, YouTubers. This is Mike Thomas here to talk to you about cryptocurrency. As a um, Microsoft certified systems engineer and AWS cloud certified myself, uh, Web Amazon Cloud Services certified, I'm pretty familiar with technology and cryptocurrencies and things, how that works. And it's basically, you know, digital money. And digital money is just like anything else. What is it? How does it work? Um, you know, all that jazz you probably know. You can buy stuff with it. Some people accept it. Some people don't. Just like any other currency out there, except it's digital. It's on a computer. There's no printing press. Nobody's printing it. Um, it's on a public ledger, which is kind of crazy in my mind. Why would you put money on a public ledger it's kind of like would you take your bank accounts and post it all over the internet no i don't think you would so cryptocurrency is a ledger base and that ledger is is i create a cryptocurrency and now you own the cryptocurrency and uh you take that cryptocurrency and you buy something else with it and now they own the cryptocurrency and all of this is on a public ledger and it just basically tracks money wherever it goes or a cryptocurrency wherever it goes. So I was never a firm believer of cryptocurrency and the reason I don't believe it is that anyone could actually build it, put it out there, if you want a crypto coin, actually, they have companies out there that will make your own cryptocurrency. But unless people are buying it, millions and millions and billions of people are buying it, um, it has no value whatsoever. Just like the Russian rubles, um, it's not a popular currency out there. So the value of it on the world market is you know, very low. In fact, cryptocurrency is actually higher than, I think, the Russian ruble. So my take on cryptocurrency is right now it's low. Is it going to go any lower? I'm scratching my head and I'd like for you, YouTubers, to explain it to me. Cryptocurrency was supposed to be decentralized so it wouldn't be affected if the markets go up or down, right? So why is it affecting the, why is it being affected as the market goes down? The market goes down, cryptocurrency is down. But wait a minute. That wasn't supposed to happen. Cryptocurrency was supposed to still remain very strong, even though the market was going to go, you know, crash or something. So that's, I don't understand that. If it is so resilient against market crashes, why is everybody dumping their cryptocurrency? Because that's how cryptocurrency actually comes down to lower levels is people are, don't have any faith in it and start dumping it. Um, I never had faith in it to begin with because I don't believe in somebody building an algorithm and saying, here's a cryptocurrency, give me money in exchange for monopoly money, as I call it, or cryptocurrency. And then um, that monopoly money has to be backed by something. You know, here in the United States, what we have is a bank note. We don't really have money, so to speak. We have bank notes. A dollar is considered a bank note. It says, hey, if you bring this to a bank, the bank is supposed to give you a dollar or the equivalent of backed, I guess, it's supposed to be by gold, but no longer so. So now everything is on fiat. It's the trust. It's really in God we trust. So cryptocurrency for me is like, hmm, you know, at least when the government uh, prints money and distributes it, people use that money to buy goods and services. And that's how anything works. It's, it's a trade. Uh, it keeps us from lugging around, you know, millions of coins, gold and silver coins, and exchanging that for um you know goods and services um my take on bitcoin ethereum Solana, um and the other cryptocurrencies out there uh shib was always pushed uh, dogecoin was always pushed and it's never really taken off the ground 
uh, for a reason is because people really don't trust it. The younger generation may trust digital currency, but I don't think the older generation is at trusting in that particular type of electronic currency. Not saying that if the government doesn't come out with a you know, crypto coin, which I believe we're already in that direction. Every time you pull out your credit card, debit card, and you swipe it, it's a digital transaction. So um, no different than any other cryptocurrency in my mind. But that's only my opinion. I'd love to hear your opinion about cryptocurrencies and how you think it's different, uh, decentralization versus, you know, centralization of monetary and why is it being affected as the market continues to drop, uh, the, our stock market anywhere here in the United States? Why is this cryptocurrency not holding up? Uh, please leave me a comment below, give us your like. And of course, this is where I always beg for new subscribers. Please, 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 please subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, share the love and uh, click the notification bell. Uh, until next time, uh, this is Mike Thomas, and I will post videos daily is my goal until the end of the year.